All right, go ahead and just tell me about yourself. Okay. With your name and where you're coming from and where you're going to and what makes you do this and what's going on. All right, uh, my name is Joel Henry. I'm, I'm based from Austin, Texas. Okay, um, I've been riding uh, motorized bicycles, such as what I have here for the past six years. Um, you know, normally I commute back and forth to work 25 miles a day, nothing big. But uh, then, I, you know, a couple of people in the forums that I subscribe to, you know, they, they talk about cross-country riding. As far as I know, there's only been two really cross-country uh, riding on a motorized bike. Uh, normally, it's the West Coast, East Coast, where you get, you've got the, uh, uh, the bicycle trails and the bicycle highway. I'm going north-south where there's really nothing. So, you know, this is a learning experience as far as the route goes. And uh, we're just kind of taking it city by city. Uh, okay, so where'd your trip originate from? My trip started off from Austin, Texas, and what is it, uh, about 300 miles away, some odd miles away, you know, and... Uh, okay, how many days have you been on the road? Uh, yesterday I did 23 hours solid, so it's one day, so that's not bad for one day. Okay, and the 23 hours, how many miles did you cover? Uh, a little over 300 miles. Okay. Okay, and uh, you know, I, I plan to do a little bit better because um, traveling through the worst parts of Texas, there's a lot of zigzagging in, involved. But, you know, from here to um, Nebraska, it should be a straight shot. Okay, so Nebraska is kind of your next waypoint, I guess? Uh, Kansas is my next waypoint. You know, uh, looks like this part of Oklahoma is not that big. So, you know, uh, uh, Kansas is my next plan stopover, and then Nebraska, and then uh, I'm going to meet up with my wife in Grand Forks, uh, North Dakota. Can people follow you on the internet? They can. I've got a blog site, but well, it's kind of long right now. I can't really give it to you. Well, I got I got my recorder on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead. All right. I can show you. But it's a real long blog site. Look, well, are you on Facebook? I am not. Okay. So you're basically taking a, a break right at this point, right? Oh yeah, I, mean, I got into town late last night. Uh, I saw the GPS, the next rest area was 23 miles. Okay. And there's no way I can make it 3 o'clock in the morning, you know? Oh it's yeah, because it's dangerous. Yeah. Too. Yeah, plus I was running out of fuel. You know, oh, I noticed that you have uh, two gas tanks on here, oh, yeah. a couple of gas tanks. Now, how far will that engine carry you? Uh, this is a, a stock tank right here. Okay. Yeah. This yeah. one will get you right about 15, 15 uh, miles. Okay. okay. And each one of the uh, auxiliary tanks here will get you another another 10 miles. Those are auxiliary tanks? Yeah. Okay. You know, I pre-mixed them, that way I've got enough fuel, especially uh, traveling through the parts of Texas. I mean, uh, the gas stations are far and in between. Okay, so you have to have at least 50 miles. Yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. To be on the safe side, I like to carry at least 100 miles of auxiliary fuel. You know, I've got a gallon jug here. Uh, okay, now a gallon jug, how many miles does a gallon jug uh, give right you? Right about 150 to 180, depending. Okay, okay. so you're, you're good to go for almost 200 miles, 200 miles just on motor power. That's right. Okay, based on your, your fuel supply. That's right. And I see you have a, a spare tire. Have you had any flats yet? Not yet, um, which is surprisingly considering the bad, uh, the roads in West Texas are extremely bad. You know, with all the weather and uh, the flood that we have. Okay, and I see you got a belt drive on there. Is that a... Yeah, it's, is a, it, it's a Kevlar belt kit. Okay. Okay, and um, uh, I've got two auxiliary belts on that. Uh, I've got four tubes and Pretty much anything that can okay. break on a bike, I can fix on the road. Now, do you do much uh, night riding? Oh, yesterday I did uh, uh, 7 p 7.30 p.m. until 2.30 a.m. Yeah, so it was uh, solid night time in the country. Uh, how about as far as close calls, as far as traffic's concerned? Uh, the routes I chose is uh, least travel. Okay. okay. So, you know, the roads are terrible and uh, not that much traffic, but it's just nothing nothing along the way in case you get into trouble. Okay, now how... <laughs> Ooh, that's not... Uh, reassuring. Okay, now how as far as uh, self-defense goes, uh, say like uh, coyotes or, or wild dogs? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to, I can outrun anything over here. Oh, okay. Uh, as far as... Well, no, I'll tell you what you can. That's how I used to be a truck driver. Now let me interject. Texas has got a lot of wild boars, all right? They will roll up on you at 35 miles an hour. The top speed on this thing, 35 miles. Yeah, saying, but if they roll up on you and you don't see them coming, you can't accelerate. <laughs> you know Unfortunately, I didn't see any dead wild boars on the way, but I did see a lot of you know, deer and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, and let me make sure.
sure. Now, I see you got a solar uh, panel on here. Yeah, I got a 7 watt solar panel to charge up my iPhone. Okay. And then I've got a um, 6 watt mini solar panel to charge up the, the batteries for my, my headlights. Oh, okay. These are triple A's. Okay? Triple A's? Yeah, these are pulsing headlights, extremely bright. Okay. Pulsing. They're the uh, uh, Cree? Are they Cree? Bro? They're Cree. They're, they're pulsing LED. Okay. They, they are, you, are, you, are you familiar with Cree? Yes, I am. Do you yeah. have any Cree flashlights? I, I do. I do. Okay. Yeah. What do you, which Crees do you have? I, I, now, uh, where did you get the flywheel set up, the motorized setup? Just basically the engine mount. Yeah. It's an outfit out of Michigan called Golden Eagle Bicycles. Golden Eagle Bicycles. Made in the USA. Okay. okay. And that mounts your engine. They yeah, can buy the engine mount. Any standard 76 millimeter clutch, uh, two stroke engine. Uh, okay. You know, we trim it, but uh, you got to be careful the one you choose. Uh, you got to have enough bearings in there. Okay. Okay. Because the bearings will wear out. Right. Most on. of the generic ones that you buy, it's only got one bearing. You know, these okay. have multiple bearings. And Japanese bearings are, you know, they'll last a lot longer. It's a Mitsubishi engine. Okay. You can't find these new anymore. They oh. stopped selling it basically 10 years ago. Oh, why? Because they work so well? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, man. Yeah, they're, they're so expensive to make. Well, so, how much does a used engine run you? If you can buy one of these, uh, they'll run you about 180. Okay. But typically, they're, they're about a 340 dollar oh, range. Yeah. for the engine. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, these aren't your standard. You can buy it at Home Depot type of engine. Oh, all right. So, after you get it started, basically, you just engage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put tension right. on the belt. Right there. Yeah. That keeps the right. tension on the belt. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and put tension on the belt. Okay, that, yeah. that, that is right there. Just okay. Tension on. See how it yeah. maintains tension. And then if you just want to pedal like a bike, yeah. get it off. You can pedal like a bike. Like, like well, that's quite interesting. So you say your trip is going to be from Austin, Texas to uh, no, Winnipeg, Canada. Winnipeg, Canada. Yeah. What's the total distance? Uh, roughly about 1,600 miles. 1,600 miles. Uh, each way. Uh, oh, so you're going to do a round trip. You're not going to... I'm going one way. I, I don't have the time. Okay. To do a round trip. And after, now, after you do the one way, uh, what are you going to do? Hop on a train? A plane? Uh, my wife is meeting up in, uh, in Grand Forks. Okay. Oh, okay. We're going to meet up there and it's a 60-mile ride to Canada. And we're going to do a tour of Canada and then we're going to drive back. Oh, all right. I'm, I know she's glad she's only doing 60 miles with your ass. <laughs>